Only on two now. Imagine looking out your window to see this. The same crew breaking into cars over and over again. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza spoke to a Chicago man so frustrated by what he's seeing, he picked up his camera and started recording. The witness we spoke with says this happens almost every single day. The culprits come by this parking garage and scope out the scene to later return and break into people's cars. Same vehicle, breaking into cars, so I started filming it. And every day I've been noticing the same thing happening over and over and over again. Shane Golden is the man behind the lens. These are just on a daily basis. The Good Samaritan who doesn't want these people knowing where he lives. Working from home, he has a bird's eye view of their plotting. I bought a pair of binoculars just because of this, and I can see down into the vehicle. At this air garage on Lake in Halstead. He broke into this vehicle. He's watched eight cars be broken into since April. And seeing their way up to every car, and then um, they'll come back about, they'll leave, they'll come back about an hour or so, and they'll start breaking into vehicles, and they'll leave handbags, backpacks, purses. We reached out to Chicago police about this, gave them the license plate of the thieves, as well as the description of their cars. They say they had no information. Neighbors tell us the 12th district is aware because they've been reporting the thefts. I see you breaking into the car. Golden alone has called many times. Oh, countless times. They've come out three times of the number of times that I've called. I've lost count how many times I've called 911. Through his window, he documents it all. I feel like I've gathered more information on the people that are doing this than they, than they even have. In fact, if they have anything, it's because I've given it to them. Because nothing is done, he'll even leave notes on targeted cars so their owners can text him. For the video, I think I, I wish more people would do this because I think if, if we all if we all said something when we see something, I think there'd be less crime or at least people it'd be a deterrent. People would probably think twice about it. We reached out to Alderman Burnett's office to see if they have any idea about all of this. They told us the alderman has no idea and no comment. Meanwhile, Golden is just going to keep doing what he can do, which is take those videos from above and get them to the people whose cars are broken into. We're in Fulton Market. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. And CBS 2 just spoke to the owner of the parking lot air garage. He says the company has spent 20% of its revenue from this lot on security and security cameras. They posted signs telling people not to leave valuables in their car, and they have support lines that are available 24 hours a day. But the company has not had any direct contact with police.